today I have actually moved my sloths into their new winter home. I oh my goodness, is that Mrs. Sid? I'm a little stuck here. Lakin, Lakin! Is we're gonna just slide our barrel on right in here. Let's see. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now I just want to say I hope all of you guys had just an incredible Thanksgiving and I just want to say I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys that subscribe to the channel supporting me each and every day because without all of your guys support well none of this would be possible. So I'm just so thankful for all of you guys. I'm reflecting back on just the whole journey of this whole YouTube thing and it's just really crazy to think how far I've come in such a short time. So yeah, guys, I'm thankful for all of you. I love you guys, and I hope you guys spent your Thanksgiving surrounded by your family and your friends and had just a great day. Now for today's video, well, today's video is gonna be pretty cool. Today, I have actually moved my sloths into their new winter home. I've actually converted one of my horse stalls and done a complete 360 on it because it's winter here in South Florida. And well, these sloths can't really handle the heat well, we had to build them a winter home. Before, the sloths have been actually living over here. If you guys have been on the channel, we actually have it all wrapped up in tarps right now. The sloths have been here, and literally last night we moved them. I wasn't able to film it because we were in a rush, but to keep them warm for a couple of days, I actually had to put these camo tarps all up on it. So you can see the enclosures there. It's like completely tarped in with heaters and whatnot. And you can see in there, it's pretty cool. Any temperatures that are in the mid to low 60s and even into the 50s and 40s, well, the sloths can't handle it. And if we were to leave the sloths outside in the cold, well, they would certainly get some sort of respiratory problems. They would die. And well, we cannot have that happen at all. So I knew we had to step it up. We had to get working and actually convert one of my horse stalls into a new sloth enclosure. So guys, I'm gonna show you all that in a second. They're in there, they're doing well, but we still gotta add branches. We gotta add a barrel and well, I'm gonna show you some of the footage of me painting the room. And now that you guys got to see that little time lapse of me and my dad painting the sloth room, well guys, we're gonna go head in. All right, we're gonna head in right now. We're only gonna use this little lower half and we're going in, guys. We're going in. This is the room and honestly, this came out incredible. Absolutely amazing. I actually just built this whole thing myself. I built all these platforms myself. We hung the branches. Shout out to my dad for helping out with the roof. My dad and Brandon for helping out with the roof, helping out with the lights, and... Oh my goodness, is that Mrs. Sid? Oh, Sid the sloth, how cute. So Sid is enjoying her little corner platform. We actually put this beautiful corner platform in, and we actually bolted it into the concrete with Tapcons. We've got another platform right here. This is like the little feeding station in here. We painted the walls green, obviously, as you can see. It's 84 degrees in here and 50% humidity. I wanna bump that humidity up to about 65, 70%, but the temperature in here is absolutely perfect for these sloths. Now, it's about 65 out right now, so we're holding good temperatures. And oh my goodness, is this who my favorite sloth? Beansy. So I know all of you guys have been super concerned about Bean since Bean actually had a miscarriage. Well, Bean is doing absolutely amazing. Bean is eating, she's doing great, and she's just wanting to come over and say hi. Now, we got the branches installed for the most part, but we're not totally done. We actually have to add more mulch in here, more mulch on the bottom. So what we're gonna be doing now is I actually ran out of branches. We gotta hang more branches in here. This is a sloth room, we need a lot of branches. So we're gonna head to the store, we're gonna get some more branches, and we're gonna hang more branches for the spots. One hour later. Well, we're back from the store. We got a bunch of branches. We got three right here, but we actually got a total of 13. So honestly, I'm thinking for our first branch, I'm thinking maybe this branch right here. What do you think, Lincoln? Oh yeah, it's pretty solid. So basically what we want to do is we want to make this as natural as possible for the sloths. Now obviously this is not the wild, but we got to hang a lot of branches so they can move around freely. So I'm thinking right here, we're in. So what we're going to do now is I got to drill this last piece in and we're going to continue hanging the branches. So 
So the new branches are up in here. It's looking amazing as you can see. We got Sid there. We've got Bean. We've got Suki. Now, honestly, I put this branch a little too high up. So what we're going to do now is I'm thinking we're going to put a little blue barrel right there. So, so I'm going to actually go to the enclosure that's right off my house. We're going to go in there. We're going to take the barrel off, bring it, and put it there. Would you look at this, guys? We're in the old sloth enclosure. Now, you guys haven't seen it like this since it's been tarped up, but it's actually kind of... A little bit depressing to be in here with nothing in here. I've had the sloths in here for quite some time, but that means we're gonna be able to bring some other animals in here. I could actually bring Theo Jr., but I'm thinking during the day, I'm gonna bring the serval cats out here. I'm gonna have to put a couple more platforms, but I think for right now, having the servals in this gorgeous outdoor enclosure right off my house, I think for now, I'm gonna put them out here, and then in the spring, we're gonna be building a, a massive 32 foot long enclosure, 16 wide, all kinds of good stuff. So if you guys want to see the servals and you're not subscribed yet, well, guys, subscribe right now down below. But we've actually got to get this barrel out of here. I'm thinking we're going to be taking this barrel right here. And we're going to be putting this in the sloth room. So let's kind of start with this. We've got our trusty drill. Let's put it in reverse. And let's go. We're going in. <laughs> guys, I'm a little stuck here. Lakin, Lakin, help me. All right, guys, this is pretty cool. We're actually repurposing old barrels, putting them over in the new sloth room. So I'm definitely gonna be replacing the barrel right in here. I'm gonna be getting another one. But for now, well, we've got our big blue barrel. So we're gonna take this barrel and go and hang it up in the new sloth room. One minute, 37 seconds later. Well, we're back in the sloth room. We've got our barrel and I have found the perfect spot for it. So I built this little corner platform thinking I was just gonna leave it like this, but wait until you see this. Wait till you see the grand vision here. So we're just gonna slide this barrel right up in here. We're just gonna slide that, literally just like that. And we're gonna take this branch that I actually just found. We're gonna take this branch. Now watch this, hear me out guys, this is amazing. So if you see this, we're gonna put this branch right here and then we're gonna hang it. So now the sloths can crawl, get into the barrel. We're gonna drill the branch down into the wood. This is gonna get drilled in here. And I'm so excited to get this drilled in. So guys, let's take this branch on down. We've gotta put the branch right down here and well, let's go and drill this barrel in place. So basically what we've got to do is we've actually got to drill this branch in first and then we've actually got to remove the barrel because as you can see, if you look over there, I won't be able to drill that branch back into place if I do the barrel first, we gotta do the branches first, then we've gotta secure the barrel. So I've got this big three inch screw. So we're just gonna take it just like this and we're gonna drill it in one, two. All right, we've got it guys, we're nice and secure. Now we gotta shift this over slightly, just like that. So that's actually exactly what we're wanting. So we're just gonna take this right here. The barrel should slide free should slide down so now what we want to do is we want to see which screw is going to work best so i'm thinking maybe the two inch screw so it's going to go into there i'm thinking that's going to be perfect so so without further ado guys we're going to put this little spad boy on just like that we're going to just slide it ever so slightly like that and we're going to bring it we're going to push this branch over just a bit we're going to center this right here and we're going to drill on down just like this and we're going guys Would you look at that? We're nice and secure, but rock solid branch right there. We're doing absolutely amazing so far. Look at that, that's looking absolutely perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just slide our barrel on right in here, let's see. And that right there is just perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to secure our barrel. All right, we're gonna secure the barrel in three, two, one. All right. We're secure, we're in. Would you look at that? Now, I'm not liking this wiggle play right here, so guys, we gotta put one more screw. All right, we're nice and secure. As you can see, there's no wiggle, there's no play. And this right here is what you would call a perfect winter home for sloths. It's pretty cool to be able to see all this stuff right here. We've got Miss Suki. Sooks is enjoying a sweet potato right now. Oh, that's some yummy good stuff. We got a bowl full of food and well, we're done, I think we're done. I mean, I don't think there's really anything else you could see. We still have to add a little water bowl over there. Bye, pretty girl. 
Bye, BNZ, and goodbye, Suki. How you doing, Sukes? You enjoying that carrot? And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's Winter Sloth Room episode. If you guys enjoyed today's video, well, please make sure to go right now, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what other videos that you guys want to see from around the property here. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet, you want to see more sloths, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, and tortoises, and all kinds of crazy animals, well, all you guys got to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.